Hey, what's up, Salt Strong Nation? It's Justin, and this video is gonna be about the big boys, the big jig heads, the monster fish. This is a review on the Striper Eye Jig Head by Z-Man and Eye Strike. For you inshore guys out there that are already familiar with the Trout Eye and the Redfish Eye, I'm not sure if many of you have ever seen the Striper Eye series, but I kinda wanna dive deeper into it. These guys are for the bigger baits and for monster fish. If you're gonna be fishing in an area with really fast moving current, like an inlet, or you're gonna be fishing in deeper water, 20, 25 feet, even out to 50 feet, depending on the current, these are gonna be the kind of jig heads to look to use to go for monster fish. So stay tuned to this review. We're gonna talk about a couple lure recommendations that these jig heads pair up really well with, and some fish that you might wanna target with these jig heads, and the best times to use them. So these Z-Man Striper Eye jig heads, they're no joke. That's, this is the first thing I wanna talk about is the thickness of this jig head. This is a six aught Mustad Ultra Point jig base. And it's they classify it as heavy duty. It doesn't say whether it's 2X or 4X. I'm telling you guys, it's a pretty meaty hook. If you wanna pop on a five to seven inch or bigger soft plastic, and you wanna go for a 40 inch redfish at Sebastian Inlet, or you wanna be bouncing some nearshore reefs or structure for all kinds of snapper, or even potentially snook in some parts of the state, or if you're the guy that's gonna be bouncing this around, let's say oil rigs over in Texas for big red snapper and cobia, this is the type of hook to use in those scenarios. These striper eyes, they come two to a pack and they have them in three different weight sizes. You can get them as light as a half of an ounce or up to three quarter or even one ounce models. A couple different colored eyes. I think they have red, uh, they have pearl and glow. Uh, so a lot of different options are available. And again, if you're gonna be fishing vertically in a little bit deeper water, 20, 25 feet or deeper over submerged structure, or if you're gonna be slow rolling a paddle tail or even an eel style soft plastic mid water column and current at like an inlet or a big river, this is an awesome option. I would have the security of knowing I can pop on a big soft plastic and these two keepers here up front are gonna hold that soft plastic in place with ease and I'm not gonna have to worry about having to reposition and slide that soft plastic up against the jig head over and over, cast after cast. So just laying out a smorgasbord of options that you can throw with the uh, the Striper I-Series. Again, they'll work well with any eel or paddle tail or shrimp soft plastic from five to seven, eight inches and bigger. But a couple options that we like to pair them with here in our shop page would be like a five inch jerk shad, either in the Alabama leprechaun style or something I really like uh, is the five inch Z-Man jerk shads in the Slam Shady color. A good universal lure to use to imitate bait fish anywhere under just about any condition. If I'm gonna bounce vertical structure and I don't know what's down there, there could be little mangrove snapper, little sea bass, little bluefish, a bunch of pesky nuisance fish. I kinda like this Z-Man material because I'll be able, it'll afford dealing with the little tiny pesky critters nipping at this guy and I don't have to worry about the profile getting chopped down when I'm down there and uh, it'll bring a lot of attention to itself until a bigger predator comes and slams it. So I think the five inch uh, jerk shads, this slam shady color just looks really well with this pearl eye. Um, I think that's gonna be a great option. And if you're gonna be fishing cross current, like at an inlet somewhere, um, you can look to pair up the Striper series with our bomber style paddle tails. This is a five inch paddle tail, and as you can see, it's got a really big boot here on the back, so it puts off a lot of vibration. And if you're gonna be fishing crazy fast current, three, four knots or faster, and you wanna throw something cross current and work mid water column for say big redfish, this would be a good option uh, for that type of style. But the thing that I'm most excited about with these striper eyes are actually rigging them on our Power Prawn USA. So over the past year, the Power Prawn has quickly become our favorite shrimp soft plastic lure. And I've used the original Brazilian series Power Prawn that's made out of kind of a, a TPE type of material on different jig heads. And I've caught big tarpon, I've caught snook, I've caught redfish, black drum, you name it. But I am really excited to pair this up, this USA series up on these striper jig heads because those two barbs up front are just gonna hold this material in place really, really well. I'm not gonna need to use super glue to keep that attached. And even though this is a traditional plastisol type of plastic, 
it's pretty, it's pretty rigid. It's pretty durable. I think this is going to take getting pecked at and not having to worry about that tail getting bitten off. And uh, this is going to be the setup that I'll probably use if I want a shrimp imitation and I want to increase the variety of species I go for, this is going to be an awesome choice. So again, these are the Z-Man and iStrike Striper Eye Jig Heads. These are the big boys you're gonna wanna reach for and rig them up with five to seven or eight inch soft plastics bouncing deeper water structure, 15 to 20 feet or even deeper, or fishing at an inlet with fast moving water and you wanna slow roll a paddle tail for big redfish, big snook, big tarpon, any big game variety, these are the ones you're gonna wanna have tied on. And again, you're gonna wanna have them rigged on a variety of different five inch or bigger soft plastics. I've just been a big fan of the Z-Man Slam Shady Jerk Shad in five inch. It's kind of a do everything bait fish soft plastic imitation. And the Power Prawn USA, which has quickly become the most versatile inshore fishing shrimp lure out there. Whether you're gonna bounce it vertically, whether you're gonna fish it shallow for tailing redfish, this shrimp lure has done everything and I always have it with me, rigged a variety of different ways. So if you guys wanna pick up any of these soft plastic lures or these Z-Man Striper eye jig heads or trout eye jig heads or redfish jig heads or anything that an inshore angler needs, we have everything available over at our online tackle shop, fishstrong.com. And if you're one of our insider members, you guys know that you can earn awesome discounts on all these products. I wanna hear any and all feedback from you guys. If you've had success deep water jigging with three quarter ounce, one ounce jig heads, and different soft plastics before, let us know down in the comment section below. What is your favorite type of soft plastic? What do you fish for in your region? Anything that can help anglers be more successful on the water, that's what we're all about. And if you're new to Salt Strong, we are the number one inshore fishing club in America that teaches you how to find and catch all kinds of inshore game fish. You're gonna save a ton of money on all of your tackle and you're gonna meet a bunch of awesome friends. So if that's for you, head over to saltstrong.com and we will see you in the Insider Family soon.